mostly granite country coming down onto some creek flats on Hovels Creek. Uh, run a mix of sheep and cattle. We're really focusing on trying to drive our bottom line to inc increasing our stocking rate and matching that to the actual carrying capacity of the place. Um, but yeah, getting that right is probably our biggest challenge at the moment. Really good that they've done that. Increasing the stocking rate across the board, assuming, so we've increased shearing costs, you know, the shearing cost has gone up. Supplementary feeding cost has not only gone up, it's gone up at a higher rate than the stocking rate, but the overheads haven't changed. The Farm 300 program, I think the increase in productivity and some of the tools that they, that they are going to teach us about to increase that, that carrying capacity and, and effectively your stocking rate is probably the main part of it. Um, but I also think that carbon farming will be something that in the future farmers will need to take, you know, take into uh, consideration and I think that those two things are really what, what, drew, what drew me to the course. To measure the effectiveness of these changes that I want to put in place, I suppose the livestock side of it is relatively simple. I know how many DSEs I'm running now and the country that they're running on and I can measure that over time. The biggest impact will be to see what impacts running the higher stocking rate has on the environment and the land that I'm running and that's where I think you really need to be careful and I need to focus on making sure that I don't run the place too hard. I think Farm 300 will assist with that process because we're going to talk through the tools and work out budgeting and see how that pasture budgeting flows through to your bottom line and how you can lift your carrying capacity, carry more stock without getting yourself in a position where you get jammed. And I mean the major offshoot of that is sitting around with 14 other farmers who have been doing it a lot longer than I have will provide me with skills that I wouldn't pick up here alone. Now by the end of this course I'm really really determined to make sure that everyone here is upskilled to the point where they can go and do their own feed budgets and they can go make their own management decisions, whether that be moving stock, moving their systems, lambing dates, bringing in extra stock, getting rid of extra stock, or even trading stock at key periods throughout the year. That's what our objective is, is to make sure everyone in this group here um, is able to do that. The place is in a really good position right now. It's had a great fertiliser history. The property's been pretty conservatively stocked. And so it's a real chance now to take this to the next level. And the opportunities, I think, are fantastic for me at the moment. By the end of the course, I aim to be able to be comfortable around doing my feed budgeting, knowing how many stock I can run at a certain time, and measuring how effective that is. And as an offshoot, increase my understanding about carbon farming and see whether opportunities might come up, if not now, but in the future.